Hi everyone, let's continue Spearman Brown Prophecy formula and Cronbeck Alpha. I have already discussed in my previous video what do you mean by Spearman Brown Prophecy formula and how we are going to calculate split half reliability. So, a split half reliability I have already shown you with the method of odd and even, and with the method of exactly half is the number of your total. Responses. So here is Spearman Brown prophecy formula and Tronbeck's alpha different phases of reliability and opportunities for new applications. You can see here this paper is already published in Journal of Clinical Epidemiology 85, that is the world number, and 82017, this is the year, and these are the page numbers, and it's the publisher is elsewhere. Now you can see here, it's a very good paper. I've been sharing this paper and that is uh, this paper I'm going to share with you in my uh, description box also. So when you are working on Spearman Brown Prophecy Formula and Cronbeck Alpha, so you could understand what is exactly the criteria, what exactly the points where we have to uh, apply Spearman Brown Prophecy Formula and Cronbeck Alpha. And what is the difference in between both these formula? So here is, this is the abstract. You can see what are the objectives behind this, why this uh, particular paper has been written. Design, setting and results and Cronbeck Alpha, right? It, it is the written as Cronbeck Alpha is written as an ICC formula. You can see here ICC formula. And in that way, further is the, what is the conclusion of this uh, particular uh, paper? So these applications have been different assumptions. For the Cronbeck Alpha, if item deleted is based on assumption of a fixed set of items, rater, and the SD formula, SB formula stands for Spearman Brown Prophecy Formula. And SB formula is based on the assumption of random raters. The example also emphasizes the need for more raters in the design of the reliability study to obtain a robust estimation of reliability. So now you can see here, you can just go through this particular paper. It's a very interesting paper. And uh, after that, uh, this is the defined, uh, in, a, in a all sort of this, uh, I have already explained you in my previous video. I will share that link also in this uh, in description box of this video, like internal consistency, test retest, inter-rater, right? I had already defined all these types of consistency in my previous videos. Now we come to the what's new. So what is the new in this particular paper? You can see here, key findings, Cronbeck Alpha and the experiments Brown Prophecy formula have broader applications than for which they were originally developed. How come? The principle of Cronbeck's alpha, if items deleted can be applied in a pilot study to select raters from a fixed set of raters to perform measurement in a large scale study. So we can select some for pilot study. The swimming brown formula can be applied to decide on the number of measurements to be averaged to obtain acceptable reliability. So assumptions basically about this random or fixed raters are important. And what is the implications and what should change now? So application of Cronbeck Alpha and the Spearman Brown formula in research and clinical practice can be extended when keeping assumptions about random or fixed raters in mind. So you understand when the assumption is uh, when we are taking random or we are taking fixed raters. So accordingly, we have to change. Here is interclass correlation coefficient formula is already given. As well as you can see here, there's the two new applications, right, using the Spearman Brown Prophecy formula for estimating the number of the raters. And uh, this is the one very good example is also, also given here. I have already gone through this example, so I'm sure you have to also understand. And this same formula I have used in my previous video also. This one is the R experiment Brown. And uh, Cronbeck Alpha, if item DDT to determine the quality of the raters, if suppose we want to check quality of the raters, 
here is the assumptions and remarks and further there is here is the lessons learned learned you can see here this is the a uh, proper they had given um uh, what is the when we are using four rators those are needed to obtain an acceptable reliability it is clear that this is logically impossible in clinical care by showing these consequences the sv formula enhances the clinical applications of the results of reliability assets and this is the you can see here these are the uh, references so i hope this video would be helpful to understand what is the difference between spearman brown prophecy formula and cronbeck alpha so i hope keep watching and uh, please uh, you know, download this paper from my description box thank you